Hi, and welcome to our SAP Ariba Innovation Series. We've got some great new features for you to check out, so let's jump right in. SAP Ariba Buying. The WalkMe digital adoption platform is now integrated with Guided Buying, offering users AI-powered guidance. This is Colby, a casual buyer logging into Guided Buying to order a new iPhone from a non-catalog supplier for the first time. He's unsure of what steps to take, so he clicks the question mark icon to launch the WalkMe panel, which lists the smart walkthroughs available. Based on where he is in the app, WalkMe provides guidance for the common topics new users may need, and there's even a show me around option that's not necessarily task related just to get the lay of the land. Additionally, customers that want to create custom content also have the option to license WalkMe Premium with SAP Ariba. So he selects guidance for a non-catalog item request. And here, WalkMe prompts him to complete the necessary product information for what he's trying to purchase. He adds the item to his cart, and once he's reviewed the cart, he's ready to check out. Oops, something's wrong, but not to worry as WalkMe's right there to help him through. And just like that, he submits his purchase request. And it's a success. Colby is quite pleased with how easy that task was thanks to the smart WalkMe walkthrough. Welcome to Exploring Guided Sourcing Events with WalkMe, providing role-based guidance with tailored onboarding tasks through engaging and intuitive guidance to help users quickly achieve value. Let's take a look. This is Sophia, a sourcing manager who is using guided sourcing for the first time and inevitably wants to create a sourcing event. She begins from an initial project creation but is unsure how to get started. So she clicks on the question mark icon and to her surprise, she sees that the Smart Help menu automatically offers help on activities that typically take place on this page. So she selects Create a Guided Sourcing Project, which launches a smart step-by-step -step guide for the tasks. The guide prompts her to begin by entering a project name, including tips on how to do so. Next, she confirms that this is not a test project. She's then asked what project type she prefers, and the guide provides some helpful tips for making her selection, which, based on the information provided, is a full project. Now, it's time for her to enter the relevant details for the sourcing project. Here, she also receives some support to ensure that she's including all of the required information. Next, she needs to select a template. Since all required fields are now complete, the guide prompts her to click Create. And voila, the guided sourcing project is created. Now she's ready to move on to event creation. From within the project she just created, she clicks the question mark icon and selects create a guided sourcing event in a project, which you guessed it, launches step-by-step -step guidance for just that. Starting with a prompt to create a document where she's presented with multiple document types, but thanks to the guide, she knows to select sourcing event. She enters her project name, confirms that this is not a test project. For event type, she confirms RFP or request for proposal, and the guide reminds her that she cannot change the event type after the event is created. She scrolls down and ensures relevant details are added, and she's then prompted to choose a template and selects the proper one. Now, she's completed the required fields and she's ready to create the event. Her first event has been successfully created. All right, now she's ready to learn how to invite suppliers to the event, so she launches the respective guide. The guide navigates her to the area on the screen that she needs to start from. She searches for her supplier using the tips from the guide to find the correct supplier quickly. The guide shows her how contacts are grouped, and she also sees that she could add contact information from here if she needed to. And now she's ready to invite the supplier, and the supplier has been successfully added to the invite list. Sophia is thrilled that the navigation guide has been so easy to follow. Now she's ready to jump into adding an item to the sourcing event. She launches the guide and follows the prompt to add an item. Now she enters the name and description of the item that she wants suppliers to bid on. She enters the quantity that they need and for the bidding rules she adds a 10% decrement and she's ready to add the item to the event and it's a success. Sophia is on a roll. She's going to wrap up her first trial run by adding a question to her event. So she launches the smart guide and sees exactly what she's looking for. She follows the prompt to add the question and now the guidance provided tells her to enter the question in the name field and then determine what response type she expects and whether or not an answer is required from the supplier. And just like that, she successfully added her first question to her event. Thanks to the support from WalkMe integrated with guided sourcing, Sophia now has a renewed sense of confidence in her role as a sourcing manager. 
As always, you can find more information, including implementation and technical details, by going to what's new within the SAP Help Portal. Stay tuned for more innovation.